What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I haven't done one of these videos in a while but in today's video we're going to be doing a mail day. Yes a mail day. I haven't done one of these in some time but I actually picked up some really cool things and I wanted to show you guys because I do want to do an update to the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX collection. I haven't done that in a few months so because of that I was like hey Let's do a mail day video, open up all the cool new stuff that I'm gonna be adding to that GX collection. And then I'm gonna be showing you guys that updated collection, which is very, very pretty right now, by the way. It looks very, very beautiful. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. If you guys wanna see deck profiles, combo videos, dual replays, mail days like today, collection videos, all that will be on the channel. We upload five days a week here on Spanko. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. We're on the road to 7K. Let's see if we can get to 7K. 7,500 by the end of year. That's the goal. That's the goal. 7,500. But thank you guys all for watching. Appreciate every single one of you. And with that, let's get into the mail day. All right, so you guys can see right here that there's actually a ton of mail, but I'm gonna put this to the side for now, just because there's something that I want to show you guys first. It's something I just picked up actually from a good friend of mine. He pulled it and you know, I had to add it to the collection. This is not so much for the GX collection as it is for just my overall collection because technically it's not a GX card, but it's the Starlight Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. I think this card is absolutely stunning. I actually don't really like Starlights that much if I'm being completely honest with you. It's one of my least favorite rarities if I'm being honest. Like I tell, I not technically high rarity but i would prefer an ultimate rare any day over a starlight however with this one being said it is a destiny hero card the card is absolutely beautiful and i got to see aster use it at nationals so for that reason i decided to put it into i guess the collection not the gx collection aster never actually technically used it in the anime but i, I just really wanted to add this to to the uh, overall collection you know something that i can put into one of my collection binders but now we get into the nice gx stuff okay i just really wanted to show you guys that one first because um this one's just a really pretty card, right? Shout out my boy, Ariel. Ariel hooked me up with it. He actually hit me up and I was like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I want it. So this one right here though, this one is gonna be really spicy. These are cards that I've been looking for for some time now, if I'm being honest with you. And I was like, you know what? Because I had the opportunity to get it, I just said, you know what, let's get it. I don't want to miss any opportunities. I've missed opportunities on other cards in the past and I just, I regret it every single time I miss the opportunity. And so for that reason, I pretty much decided to pick these up. Oh, 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 do you guys see it? The ultimate rare first edition evil hero lightning golem. Oh, there's more on the back. Okay, okay. So this was one of the cards that I haven't been able to find more so than anything. The price is actually not that high. This is one of the cheaper hero cards, I guess for the evil heroes as well, but it's uh, just really difficult to find. So there's two cards right here. So there's the Evil Hero Lightning Golem. Oh, bro, look how pretty it is. And then there is the EHC1 Elemental Hero Bubble Man. This is a card that I've been like back and forth on for so long because in the collection, I have all the EHC, if you guys don't know, that's Elemental Hero Collection. I have all the Elemental Hero Collection of the other heroes. So like Avion, Bersinitrix, Sparkman and all that. However, with the Bubble Man, I was like, do I want an Ultimate Rare First Edition or do I want an EHC to match the set? To be honest with you, probably gonna end up having both in the future. But I decided to get this one because I was like, you know what, with the set, it just looks pretty. They're all in secret rare. The old secret rares honestly are just so nice. Like I'm just gonna pull this out so you guys can get a proper look at it. But you guys can see like, this is a really, really nice look. And the best part about this, they're all like in really good condition here. They, they might not be like near mint, near mint, but uh, they're VLP at worst. Like you guys can see that they're, they look really pretty. So I'm really excited about the evil hero more than anything because this one you just don't find. I can't find this one anywhere. I haven't been able to find it for years. You guys know I've been co collecting GX stuff for like a long time now right so just the fact that i can add these to my collection is really really nice now the next thing i want to show you guys though is uh which one is who's this from this is okay so this is another hero card actually there's one more here that doesn't have hero cards per se but uh yeah this is another hero card and this one i really oh oh okay let's take let's take this off screen because I, I want you guys oh a nice little dandelion oh okay so shout out to my boy bar bar actually hooked me up with this he actually uh, had the card himself for sale and i messaged him i was like ah you know i want it and he was like yeah so he hooked me up with a pretty good deal let me see if i can get an exact one for this though because it's taped up pretty well and i also just realized as i was doing that i ruined the surprise it's an elemental hero dark bright ultimate rare first edition just another hero card you, okay can i be honest with you it's so funny to talk about these things because like i keep saying the same thing over and over but i'm i, I live in canada right so when you live in canada you don't have as much access as you would think to cards like these right so here are the two that he said he did say he's gonna send me a gift so there's a dandy lion oh and the phantom 
Okay, you know what's funny? You guys want to hear a funny story with these? Is we were at a regional and I saw these two in his binder and I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm kind of interested in these two. You know, we couldn't find a trade, whatever. I never ended up grabbing them off of him for the trade. So whatever, it was all good, right? And then when I bought the Dark Bright, which, okay, I'm going to show you guys the Dark Bright because the Dark Bright, let's be honest, is the star of the show here. When I bought the Dark Bright, he said, I have a little surprise, a little gift for you in there. And uh, yeah, I guess that was the gift. That's a really cool, that's a really cool gift. I really like these. They're going to go straight into the collection as well. But the, the elemental hero Dark Bright is obviously what we're here for. Or, oh, look how pretty this is. And it had a weird thing. So we talked about this as well. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But here I'm going to zoom in on you guys. You see that little blue marker right there? I think there's one right there as well. So at first, I was like, is that a pen mark? Because it kind of looks like a pen mark. Maybe the camera gets it. It kind of looks like a pen mark. I was like, oh, would that like, you know, did someone scribble on it? And I think he told me, if I'm not mistaken, I think he told me he actually pulled this card and it came with this. So it's, I think it's more of an ink blob than a pen mark. But I did think it was a pen mark. He told me he wasn't sure though, because he pulled it a long time ago when he was younger so um it's obviously not like near mint near mint i mean you guys can see but it's very very close to near mint but we got we worked on a good number just because of these he was like honestly i pulled it when i was a little kid i don't remember ever marking it or anything this has been in his collection so it's not like it went anywhere someone marked it or whatever and he just said he doesn't remember doing it he doesn't think he did it however uh just in case he was like i'll give you, I'll give you a price just in case it is a pen mark somehow even though I, I believe him, like me and Bar have been working together for a long time and I know he would never lie to me about something like that, right? So I do believe him that it's just an ink blob. However, the dark bright, look at these alties, man. There's, you see what I mean? Like, okay, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. You guys let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. But in my opinion, I understand this is shinier, but just an, an, an ultimate rare, especially from the GX era, ultimate rares, just, I don't know. I just like them way more than I like Starlights. I don't know if that makes sense. But shout out Dark Bright. And also, funny story, I saw some guy at uh, the EU Nationals, they asked a question during like one of the halftime shows or whatever, not halftime shows, I just, I watch too much sports. One of the uh, intermissions bef between rounds and they asked someone like, hey, uh, what's the fusion materials for Dark Bright? And someone said Burst into Tricks and Sparkman. And that's just, I'm gonna be honest with you. Maybe it's just me because I'm, I'm a hero guy, but that, that's just embarrassing. I'm be real with you. Okay, so then this next package, I think more so just has meta stuff in it. I don't think this has any, yeah, yeah. This is some stuff I ordered. Uh, so Garuras, as well as the Dr Utopia Draco Auras or Draco Utopian Auras. I picked these up because I was like, you know what? I am, I do play competitively if you guys don't know. So for that reason, I picked these up. I'm gonna put these on the side though. Nothing special, just three of each, just so I can have four if they ever come up, right? Garura for sure is gonna be coming up. That card's nuts. But anyways, that's, that's not the set stuff we're here for what we are here for is this last package and let me tell you this last package was something again i didn't think i was gonna get for a while not so much as because it's hard to find more so because i just you, you know uh, it's, it's pretty expensive i'll be honest with you they're pretty expensive funny enough like these cards are all really i mean the dpe is obviously you know we saw that price right we see that price but otherwise like these two i actually got for a pretty good price. all of these i actually got for a pretty good price in general so i'm happy with them and you know like I'm literally, I'm literally just using the nice thing about YouTube, man. I don't, I don't love you guys for this. It's like YouTube helps me with this stuff. So here you guys see another package. Oh, okay. I already know the card that I want to show you guys is at the front. So for that reason, I'm going to pull this out so you guys can see the back stuff first. Okay. So this stuff is stuff I asked him to throw in for me because I never opened that much power of the elements. So I said, yo, send me the Neo stuff. He sent me these for free. Beautiful guy. Shout out 6YGO. Oh, by the way, the uh, Utopian Draco Auras and stuff was also from 6YGO. If you guys are in any of the Canadian Facebook groups, that's my boy, Sean. I, I love that guy. Like that guy's super clutch and he always comes to me with this stuff. So I was like, you know what? I, I have to purchase it from you. So I'm excited. I'm going to show you guys what this is. I'm just so happy that I can finally put these in my collection because I've been waiting for specifically the Lightning Golem and this for a while now because I'm Canadian. These come from the States, so it took a while. But here we are. The last card for today's mail day. An ultimate rare. First edition. Neo Spatian Aqua Dolphin. Now, cards of this caliber, I'm gonna be honest with you, are pretty pricey, especially right now. Like, I always wanted to pick it up in a situation where it's not pricey because people played it for a while with the Neo Space Connector to go into Warrior stuff, and then it got really expensive with the Infernobles and all that stuff. And then it went down a little bit, and I was trying to pick it up when it went down, but then now the Neo stuff is kind of popular, so it kind of went back up in price. And uh, usually when, when I pick up cards like these, I don't mind picking them up in like light play to like MP condition even sometimes. However, with this one, he shot me a message it's like okay let me show you guys it's near mint like perfectly everywhere except this one white little speck right there and i was like you know what that's good enough to make it lp he was good with that too and i was like you know what we'll take it so i made a deal with the six shout out sean i love that guy and by the way you guys noticed that this whole time i'm doing it with the playmat with the Jaden yuki signature you gotta give us a good luck man hopefully that you know it, it, all the cards come in safely and luckily today they did but these are really these three specifically are like my favorite that i've been adding to the collection recently i mean the dpe is cool but let's be honest dpe is not a real gx card 
Let's, let's be real with ourselves. So I'm gonna put this to the side over here. Uh, shout out Bar though. Bar hooked me up with these. I, I respect it for that, you know? He told, he told me there was a gift and I appreciate that. Bar, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you, man. Hopefully you get more sales in the future because great salesman, great person to work with. But these three, I'm super excited to add these to my collection. Ultimate Rare First Editions. Can never say no to these. And Dark Bright, honestly, is probably my favorite one here. Yo, I never even like realized, but the Dark Bright Ultimate is just really, like look at the texturing on that. There's like, Decent amount of texturing on this. Wow. I don't even realize how much it is. Are these all these like are all the copies like this? I don't know beautiful cards excited to add these to my collection and yeah Like I'm just I don't know man like these kind of things make me really happy This is some of my goals are finally low-key being achieved slowly, but they are being achieved surely So I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching if you guys have the chance Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel again. The goal is 7,000 soon 7,500 by the end of the year I think we can make it happen I believe in every single one of you with all this cool hero stuff here It gives me the opportunity to show you guys the GX collection the new and improved updated GX collection It looks so good now because it's finally getting closer to being done some of the hero fusions I'm gonna be honest are not in there just yet and uh, I'm gonna start getting into misprints like the rainbow dragon misprints because uh, those are really expensive and I feel like I need to pick them up sooner than later because I had the chance to pick them up a while ago like a few years ago when they were cheaper and now they're not cheap anymore so that's the next goal. But thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are the reason why I do this. You guys are the reason why I continue to do this and I'm able to do this. Without you guys, none of this is possible. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko, sign it out. Peace.